Well, good morning, everybody. Howdy, y'all. This morning, we left the motel and we came back to our park. We're calling it our park because there's nobody here. And this that's is the, the best thing about it. Ever. We are just we're really gonna miss this park y'all like it has all the pine trees and it's actually called pines park yeah and it just kind of it just reminds us of the south and it just makes us feel at home it's very peaceful it's back off the highway so you don't hear hardly any highway noise there's a bunch of grass flat areas to stretch and work out it's just been really nice there's some nice little outhouses over here separated men's and women's it's it's really nice there's a fire pit we didn't use the fire pit but there is one it's pretty huge plenty of firewood it's just so great there's an electrical outlet on this pavilion it's a really nice park and of course we can't forget the slide which i want to go slide on the slide before we leave and I'm about to. I really dig this park. I never thought I'd love a little county park like this so much. And it's really been a saving grace for us because we've spent all day here yesterday. We've cooked breakfast, we've cooked dinner here. It's just been super nice. And we got here at like, I think eight o'clock yesterday and we spent all day and didn't have a single person come here, which is a shame because it's such a beautiful little park. I know, and especially to be like a holiday weekend. Look at this. So we just read a comment. Someone stated, if you want to go real fast on this, get some wax paper. <laughs> so fun. <laughs> they should make like adult parks. Man, they should make adult parks. I would be all over that. Woo! You remember like pumping up as hard as you can and then you would jump out? Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that nowadays. Oh, I'd break no. an ankle. No, 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 I'm not either. But the one thing that I didn't show y'all last time was this bad boy, a merry-go-round. They don't make them like this anymore either. Look at this thing. Huh? Probably not. <laughs> oh, this gonna make me sick. <laughs> you wanna go faster? No. You make me throw up. I don't wanna throw up. Okay. How do you go? You, you turn sideways and jump. Okay, I'm starting to get sick. Yeah. No, 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 don't let me on. Eh! Eh! <laughs> <laughs> spot and it is lovely here it is about 1 30 and i don't think i've seen one horse fly and this is a mistake <laughs> tell them why this is okay a mistake. so i booked a campground it was a uh, private campground online i thought i booked it i paid with paypal the money never came out of the account and i never got an email saying you know confirmed you know reservation confirmation so i was like this is going to be kind of sketchy i don't really know what's going to happen so we got there and of course that site was not booked for us so i don't know what happened but i think it was godsend because we stopped to get out and look around and horse flies were everywhere so obviously they must spray here which is nice and this one spot was available this is a first come first serve campground it's the only one available the people left today they left today they so we'll left. be here two nights and it's really nice i'm digging it this lake is uh so it's kingston lake campground and this is kingston lake and the water is crystal clear cody is so happy because he wants to go fishing so bad <laughs> yeah i was kind of itching so today we're about to get the boats out for the first time in a while and paddle yeah it's still kind of early but here's the view of the lake 
right by camp. So, ah, so much fun. All right, so we have to unhook the trailer from the truck and we've got to drive back up front and get a, put our money in and you know, fill out the stuff and all that good stuff. So, yay, see you in a bit. We have our camp all set up and we went with the big tent. If you noticed in the bug vlog, we had the big tent set up as well. No, our other tent did not get destroyed in the hailstorm. It is fine. We just haven't had this tent up in a while. And it's nice not to have to like bend over like this the majority of the time. When I put the bedding in on the small tent, it's just, I'm like this the entire time. And when I'm in the big tent, I can stand up like a normal person and put the beds together. So it's nice when we have a big enough space to put the big tent out to do that for me. And I can stretch in there if it's too cold or if it's tomorrow we're supposed to have some rain so I can, you know, stretch in there, whatever. But we're about to get the boats out. gonna go around this little lake and see what the rest of it looks like there's only 18 camping spots here so not very many and they're all first come first serve is I don't know if I said that it's a state forest this is really pretty the water's so clean yeah you can see all the way to the bottom this is nice and I saw a bunch of medium-sized fish Kelly says I should catch something if I don't it's because I'm a horrible fisherman or it's just the wrong time of day As we're out here just paddling around, we're kind of analyzing the whole situation here with the bugs being at primitive camping areas. And if you see us head west and blow through the rest of Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, that's probably why. We still want to hit up Maine in the fall, so we'll have to come back through. So we're going to see a couple more things here and slowly make our way west because we wanted to go to Minnesota. We wanted to do things in Wisconsin, but everybody in the comments is telling us that the bugs are gonna be the same until the end of August. It's just, you know, deep thoughts we're having. We're talking about it. Um, we don't really know. We're just gonna go where the wind blows us and hope for the best. But as of right now, this campground's great. Anyway, Cody, have you caught anything? No bites. But it's beautiful. How weird is this, y'all? The spot that I thought I booked um, was number eight. We get here and the camp only spot available is number eight and our old address was number eight. Is that not weird? <laughs> deep thoughts by Kelly. Yeah, I have a lot of deep thoughts right now. Ooh, my hip is hurting. Still Cody, no bites. No. <laughs> I just am not a fisherman, man. I, I, I just, it's my hobby. I try. <laughs> it's like, you don't do it enough, I guess. Well, I finally caught a little fish. Kelly went back to camp. Look at this little guy. Pretty little fella. Kelly asked if I ever get bored just casting. Nah. I could actually just sit here all day and cast, even if I don't catch anything. I like just being out here on the water, moving or flat. It's all good to me. Of course, most of the time I don't catch anything. Y'all know that. <laughs> it just makes it whenever I do that much better. Okay, cut another one. And if I was cooking up pan frying fish, this would be a great day.
Goodness gracious. What's that old saying? Like fish in a barrel? Oh, caught another one. I think uh, here in a second, I could probably get a bass or something. Another one. Goodness gracious. And another one. <gasps> okay. What do we got here? A bass, it looks like. Heck yeah. Now look at that. Largemouth bass. Ain't that a beaut? Guys, I actually think I'm fishing finally. Okay, now I'm having fun. I enjoy just casting, but when you start catching fish left and right, then then you're having fun. So I came back before Cody, but Cody apparently caught some fish. This is such a pleasant little lake. <laughs> it really is. It's so pretty and quiet. Getting dinner prepared, and we're gonna have spicy pasta. And your boy caught some fish. Nothing for dinner though. I'm sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. I already got plenty of food here. Between that park today and here, I feel like I've been on true island time. Yes. I am so chill right now. The park is really nice, and then this is nice. There's no like, well, there is some road noise, but not. Consistent. Yeah, it's not bad. And we have a few horse flies, maybe one or two. I can handle yeah, this one or like, two deer flies, one or two horse flies. This is like Arkansas manageable. Like, okay, we're used to a few of them buzzing around our heads, yeah. but not like, you know, 30 of them. Oh, some. there was a lot more than 30. Oh, yeah, I know. I just I just picked a number in my head. What do you got there? Some mint? Oh, uh, that's basil. We got mint. In my little bowl here, I have mint, basil, and now parsley. And I'm just gonna set that aside for here in a little bit. This dish takes a lot of oil. And I'm really sad I'm using a lot of this oil because it's so good, it's like gold. But I need three fourths cup. This pasta dish also takes a lot of garlic. I'm really excited to try this dish with my new olive oil that I found and love instead of grapeseed oil. That's all I have ever made it with. Well, except when I first started making it about five years ago, I think I used olive oil and I think that's when I figured out I don't really like the taste of traditional olive oil, um, but this one is very good. You know, I've never even seen this brand and then all of a sudden Kelly finds it up here. So if y'all find this brand, take advantage of it. It tastes amazing. And something else that astonishes me right now is this campground is full. We were lucky enough to get the last spot and listen how quiet it is. I mean, it is extremely quiet. I'm digging it. Of course, it looks like nobody's here. Now, Angel Princess usually does a thicker spaghetti noodle. Uh, I'd go back and forth. You do? I know that I per I love angel hair pasta when you, you, know, you have like a Alfredo dish. But whenever it comes to this dish, I've always enjoyed the thicker noodle, but she couldn't find that or she just really wanted to try this brand here and this brand only had this size. Is that right? I wanted to try this brand. It looked really good. All right, first we do our garlic. Keep them vampires away. I wish this worked for all other right. blood sucking creatures of the earth. All right, so we're just gonna fry the garlic for a minute. Not literally a minute, like a couple seconds. Add in some red pepper flakes. And we've got some tomato puree. And I like Ooh. to turn the heat down. Yeah, this is this gets wild, this gets wild. Actually, I'm just gonna turn it off and then okay. I'll turn it back on once I put it in. Yeah, since it's really hard for me to control the temperature on this, it gets a little crazy and splashes everywhere. Cause you really want it like a medium low. Okay. 
and we let that cook for a minute. I'm gonna turn my heat back on. While we're waiting on that, I'm gonna come over here and cut some bread. Cause you've got to have bread with your pasta. At least I do anyway. So my tomato uh, puree is starting to fry. I don't know if you can see that in the oil. So you just wanna let it fry for about, well, I don't know, a little bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. Just until you feel like it looks like it's done. So I'm gonna let it go for a little bit longer. I'm actually gonna turn the heat down. And still waiting on my pasta water to boil. It's about ready. Okay, I'm gonna call this boiling. We've got bubbles. So I'm gonna throw in my spaghetti. I think this looks pretty good. It's really thick and it looks kind of fried. It just looks totally different than it did when it was in, poured it out from the can. It's a little, it's thicker. All right, so we're just gonna let that chill there. All right, now we gotta do the bread. More oil. I'm gonna shred some Parmigiana Reggiano cheese while we're waiting. Our noodles are done. And we have our sauce. So I'm gonna turn my heat back on and we're gonna add in oops, the herbs. Let me remove the bread. I'm throwing in one tablespoon of butter. So I'm just kind of adding it in um, until I get the amount of stuff that I want. So I might not use all of the herbs. Um, the butter, I'm gonna turn the heat back on in just a second. The butter is gonna melt. We're gonna throw in some cheese. That's a lot of pasta, babe. That is a lot of pasta. I said make it all. <laughs> so normally we don't have leftovers. Normally we eat all the food, but I'm really hungry for some reason and I told Kelly just make it all. And I'm starting to think that was a mistake. Yeah, that's a lot of food. That is a lot of food. I'll eat all that. I'm gonna eat it all. And we're gonna throw in some cheese. Just a little bit. We're gonna save the rest for topping. We like pepper. Throw that around and we're ready to eat. A little extra cheese. A little extra pepper. I'm really digging it with this other oil. It's still good, but Kelly thinks that she should have added some more, what was it? I should have done more tomato uh, puree or less noodles. But it's still delicious. I knew it would be. But stay tuned and you'll see where we'll end up next time. And we'll catch you on the other. Bye.